Having recently been accepted into AKC's working group, you might think the Dogo Argentino, also known as the Argentine Mastiff, is brand new to the United States, yet owing to their rarity, they've been here 50 years. The Dogo Argentino is a serious dog for a serious owner. They're extremely affectionate, highly intelligent, naturally athletic, unfailingly loyal, never failing to protect their families, including children, and to top it all off, they look like white lions. In this episode, we'll be taking a closer look at the Dogo, who can be called the most versatile athlete, the fiercest hunting dog, and the most courageous guardian of the entire dog world. Please meet the Dogo Argentino. The first Dogo Argentinos were developed by Dr. Antonio Martinez in Argentina in the late 1920s. Dr. Martinez's goal was to create a versatile dog that could catch dangerous wild animals in the mountains of Argentina, as well as provide loyal guardianship to its family in the city. Dr. Martinez, a surgeon and medical scholar, crossed 10 dogs to create the Dogo Argentino, including the extinct fighting dog of Cordova, which was the local dog, the bulldog for the depth and size of its chest, the bull terrier for its tenacity and stubbornness, the harlequin great dane for its size and stature, the irish wolfhound for its pack hunting abilities, the boxer for its playful personality, the pyrenean mastiff for its white color, the english pointer for its game scenting ability, the dog de bordeaux or french mastiff for the broadness of its skull, the Spanish Mastiff for explosive power, thus creating a hybrid breed that fit his vision of the ideal dog. The modern day Dogo was first imported into the United States from Argentina in 1970. It remains a rare breed best suited to experienced dog owners with an interest in feral hog hunting, police and military work, advanced nose work, protection and bite work along with dog showing and general family guardianship. In terms of appearance, the Dogo Argentino is a striking medium-large dog noted for its highly muscular physique, imposing expression, and its shining pure white coat. Dogo Argentinos are not a giant breed and excessive size is to be penalized due to the inability to maintain running stamina and working ability. In terms of height, male dogos range from 24 to 27 inches high and 88 to 100 pounds, while female dogo argentinos range from 24 to 26 inches high and 88 to 95 pounds according to the AKC breed standard. The skull is equally divided between its foreface and its cranium with a distinctive balance and symmetry. The ears may be presented cropped, which is generally preferred in a working hunting dog, though uncropped ears are tolerated in the show ring. The breed takes its name from the Spanish words translating to the dog of Argentina. In terms of the coat, the Dogo Argentinos that meet breed standard are short-haired, pure white in color, with dark or hazel colored almond shaped eyes rimmed in either black or light colored skin with dark black pigmented noses. Their fur may have a single black or dark colored spot forward of the ears on the head so long as it is no more than 10% which is known as a pyretta or pirate spot. The skin may have dark colored spots known as ticking so long as the fur remains pure white and these spots multiply with age. The Dogo Argentino does not drool excessively. Dogo Argentinos have tight rounded paws allowing for easy footing in rugged terrain and being less prone to injury with dark or black colored paw pads and the general foot shape is known as a cat paw. Their tails are long and taper from rump to tip like a saber 
often carried in a high arch over the back when excited, falling low to the hocks when calm. Dogo Argentinos remain popular in Argentina, but can be found throughout the world with the exception of Denmark, the Fiji Islands, Iceland, Australia, New Zealand, Singapore, Turkey, the United Kingdom, the Ukraine, or the Cayman Islands, where the dog is banned under the Dangerous Dogs Act. Dogo Argentinos, when well-bred, trained, socialized, and handled correctly, are highly affectionate, loving family protectors, but as a guardian breed, they generally remain suspicious of strangers and strange animals, particularly those showing hostile disposition. Dogo Argentinos are known to be dominant, stubborn, and willful, but they also remain humble, cheerful, and loving to their immediate family unit. They are treasured for their bravery, incredible athleticism, never-ending stamina, and intense drive, including a natural resistance to pain. Because of these qualities, they are an ideal catch dog and were originally designed to take down dangerous wild animals like puma and boar. Due to their emotional codependence on their owners, they would not thrive in environments where they were expected to live away from their human pack, which could poison their temperament and behavior. It takes between two and three years for a Dogo Argentino to mature and display its adult temperament. Until then, your Dogo will be slightly less muscular, more puppy-like in temperament, and more likely to be accepting of strange people and animals. After it hits maturity, it tends to become more watchful, more territorial, more prey-driven, which can spell disaster for small animals. Many never lose their high energy and drive and they make outstanding running and hiking companions to people who enjoy being vigorously active. Due in part to their dominant personality, incredible intelligence, and natural stubbornness, Dogo Argentinos are more challenging to train and require lifelong training in obedience, particularly in reaction to other hostile dogs. Further, they benefit for ongoing sociability and good manners training. The Dogo Argentino is a working breed, so it always needs something to do and can become highly destructive to yards, furniture, and personal items if under-exercised and under-stimulated. In recent years, Dogo Argentinos have enjoyed popularity as a protection and guard dog and is frequently appealing to owners seeking a more serious dog breed. Its qualities of intense bite strength, athleticism, versatility, pack hunting ability, and well-developed scenting make this a wonderful hunting dog for feral hogs and other dangerous predatory animals. What do you think is the most important attribute of a big game hunting dog? There's nothing more exciting to a Dogo Argentino than time spent outdoors, running, jumping, swimming, hiking, and smelling new scents. This dog is the perfect companion for a highly athletic, outdoorsy family who wants a dog capable of defense and companionship. True to its inception, the Dogo Argentino is able to run up to 20 miles every day and it's built specifically for rugged terrain with thick underbrush. While the Dogo is tolerant to snow, it cannot be overwintered outdoors due to its short coat and likewise enjoys sun but cannot be left oversummered without deep shade due to its tendency to become sunburnt. To maintain mental stability and physical conditioning, your Dogo will need two hours daily of vigorous exercise, which can be split into two one-hour sessions. Without draining physical exercise, the Dogo Argentino is likely to become naughty and destroy its immediate environment out of boredom. 
since the dogo was bred to hold dangerous game until a hunter arrived to dispatch the wild animals with a knife, the dogo argentino has a very strong bite of approximately 502 pounds of pressure per square inch. Dogos love physical challenges and generally prefer to exercise to the extreme. They do very well at all physical dog sports such as agility, barn chasing, dock diving, lure chasing, and similar. They also do exceedingly well in protection sports such as French ring, bite work, and executive protection. Although a generally healthy breed, certain conditions and diseases must be discussed. Congenital deafness runs in approximately 10% of the population and can be found in either one or both ears. All dogo puppies must be bear tested for this condition. Additionally, one should be on the lookout for joint diseases of the hips and elbows, along with heart conditions and skin allergies, which can appear in certain lines. You can expect your Dogo Argentino to live 9 to 15 years if healthy. Do Dogo Argentino shed? Absolutely! Their fur is short but sheds nearly constantly and the short hairs find their way into clothing, furniture, and just about everywhere else. Be sure to give your Dogo Argentino a weekly brushing but avoid excessive bathing so as to avoid washing the natural oils off the skin which can lead to itchiness and excessive scratching. Although the dog remains rare, demand for it surged as it made its way onto television shows like Ray Donovan where it played a role as the family dog. The Dogo Argentino can also be spotted on a recent television commercial for Jeep. Further, it appears occasionally with female athlete Ronda Rousey and with political commentator and comedian YouTuber Steven Crowder. As always, thanks for watching. Here are a few more videos you're sure to enjoy. Thanks for subscribing and for your like. And as always, have a dogotastic day.